I love it. Anything else? Is it supposed to be finished by the end of the summer? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. It'll be cool to have our coffee bag. No. Yes, it would. It would be good to have some juice bag as well. Yeah. I have a question. Do you have any, like, uh, antique air codes in Sheldon Hill right now? Okay. Yeah, okay. I... So I bought a comb from you that was absolutely stunning and I loved it. And I went out and I went to lot 10 and I took it out of my hair at one point and yeah. my hair got stolen and I lost my comb. I got to wear it one night. So I want, I want another nice hair ornament. Oh, okay. I need to come in to show them. Want to head that way? This is Cece and Lulu and I made handmade soaps, glycerin soaps, little art bars, little tub toys, and mittens made from recycled sweaters in children's size, baby size, and full adults. You can touch it, you can feel it, you can see it up close, put it in your hands and get an idea. I like online availability because you can get it from far away, but there's nothing like touching and feeling and seeing and smelling the product before you purchase it. This is a peaceful place. Um, everybody who is here is happy to see each other. Everybody who is here is having fun and enjoying themselves. <laughs> uh, I grew up in Ithaca and I live in Philadelphia now and I still come back uh, several times a year and the farmer's market is one of my favorite places. Seven kinds of lip balm and it's made with organic coconut oil, local organic sunflower oil, and local beeswax. I'm Dave the woodworker at the farmer's market. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So where are you based out of? Uh, I'm based out of my house. I live about two miles from here up on West Hill. And are these locally gathered and locally sourced woods? I'm sorry, say it again. The wood, the wood that you work with, where does it come from? I go to Danby Hardwoods about 10 miles south of here and, and buy it from him. It's all local wood. Most of it is anyway. Yeah. What about like uh, the raw tree stump that was sliced for you? Yeah, somebody sold me some uh, black walnut and had all sorts of problems with it. But, but this thing I made, this and I made a couple little blocks out of some of the pieces that weren't good for anything else. Um, it's very simple designs, um, yes. and these prices, they're more than reasonable. They are, they're honest what a person could pay for them and enjoy them in their homes for their entire lifetime. Good, yeah, good. Well, I'm a little, I'm not a, a, a very, very fine woodworker. I'm a little rough around the edge, but that appeals, I think that lends to the appeal of some of the stuff. I'm still learning as I go along. <coughs> Well, I sense a quality in your work already, sir. Well, thank you very much. In fact, when I'm coming in the winter, I'm thinking, oh, I wish the farmer's market were here. I can't wait till April. Why do you uh, wish the farmer's market was open? Uh, it makes me really happy to be here. It's um, uh, Partly, I, uh, I feel like this is my tribe. <laughs> the tribe so gathers at the farmer's market. It does. <laughs> um, and it's something that... Uh, Philadelphia has many wonderful qualities, but uh, my tribe market. is here. Yeah. Okay, now I take them off. <laughs> oh, that is a good picture. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, benches. So one of the great pleasures is getting food and sitting by, on a bench looking out at the water. Um, and uh, so see what I just did. Right. What about this? I almost saw like butterflies and stuff and flowers. Is kind of like looking pattern? at clouds, right? <laughs> it's just the pattern that you made. It's the pattern, and that's just like slices of it. Like, so like right here, you can see this is just slices of that. If you look down at the spoons, that's the same design, except that I've cut, you know, the, that is the exact cane. I've never seen anything so colorful. It's kind of like making those paper snowflakes. Did you ever make those? Where you'll cut like a triangle, and then you cut out shapes, and when, once you open it up, it becomes much more complex. Yeah. Hi, I'm Hope, and I'm here with 
the Wide Awake Bakery. I baked all of this beautiful bread this morning, fresh, early, early, and it's all here for you at the Ithaca Farmer's Market, so come on down. Probably 10 years. 10 years. And th this one looks like particularly expressive, sorry. Like, it looks like a woman holding a heart. It looks like a lot of things. Uh huh. But um, clearly, it's different than some of the pendants that are like a teardrop or two beads together. Right. Um, did you make that? I made this. I make all of this. We all have to make whatever we sell in the market. Yeah. So, oh, that's a requirement of the yeah, farmer's market. Right, and within 30 miles of the market. Oh. So this was, uh, I was trying to make things that were um, inspired by foraminifera, which I'm Phoebe Van Vliet and I am here at Six Circles Farm booth. We're from Lodi, New York, and we've got a mix of veggies and our garlic skate products here today. And we encourage everybody to come on down, enjoy the sunshine, get some good food, and start getting your gardens going with all the plants.
name is Anna Ritter, and I'm with Hector Leather. Hector Leather is a farm outside of town somewhere? And Hector? Yeah. We have a location, a workshop out in Hector, and I work with another individual and another individual, and we all kind of make things together. Some of it is very old-fashioned. The moccasins, um, these are ancient traditions. And uh, some of the, uh, the buttons, the accoutrement of these belts are collected. Um, are they vintage or are they? Some of the buckles are vintage. Okay. And some of them are natural, like these, these antler horns. The horn of an antler cinching a, a satchel here. It's the closure for a, a holster for a around a belt. Wow. Fanny packs are very in right now. And we have a hair clip with the Celtic cross. That's right. Other various, this one for Great Britain. Wow. Many different choices. So you take the tines of the antlers and you use them for the cinch of a satchel. They're the closures. Um, the closure pins for these waist satchels, also known as fanny packs. Wow. So, uh, do you sell online as well as the farmer's market? I do. I have an Etsy site. It is R Dance. O U R D A N C E. One word. Our Dance. Our Dance. And it's on Etsy. Com. Reasonable merchants here with excellent quality products that you cannot find at retail. Hello, my name is Diane Coy Thompson. I sell hammock chairs and at the Ithaca Farmers Market. Me and my son Joseph, we weave them and we also dye them and they're adjustable so you can lay or sit in them. They're machine washable and very, very comfortable. I've been involved with the Ithaca Farmer's Market for close to 25 years. Um, my kids were raised here and helping out at the market with uh, various things. And I truly enjoy being a participant of the market. A lot of nice people, beautiful weather here today. Who are you guys? We're under the tree. Just a few acres farm in Lansing. She Come down to the farmer's her. market, and it, it's, it's not successful unless the people get leather belts. Where did the leather come from? Um, most of our leather is vegetable tanned steer hide, and they're American steer hides, which are tanned in Mexico with tree bark, and then sent back to the United States. And we have a wholesaler in Elmira who we visit many times a year, and we go and hand select our own hides based on um, characteristics like thickness and beautiful grain pattern and things like that. How long do the belts last for the people who wear them? <laughs> Hopefully many, many years. They're very, very thick leather. They're not split down. They're full it's grain. It's a single strand of leather, people, and it's, it looks like it would last about 10 years if you wore it on Maybe pants every more. day. Yeah, probably, probably 20 or 30, yeah. Probably 20, 20 or 30, 30, possibly, he says. Yeah. We have a shed with a kiln, so we have a gas we kiln and a wood-fired um, kiln. You know, the the gas and wood-fired kiln, and he fires these bulls up? Um, what, mainly what we have for sale here today is uh, gas-fired pottery, but we're planning on firing the wood kiln in uh, June. Yeah, we, we just we come here every couple months and we really love it down here. It's a beautiful place. Everybody should come here at least once. Who's ready for a boat ride? She just and she just graduated, so we're all here for that, yes, and she's there with three friends, and her mother, and her sister's here, and I'm here, her grandmother, yes, and they've gone for a boat ride. Almost. Almost. Boarding, as we speak. 
I think I think that might be them up top, right there. Right in the front. Right in the front, up top. It's a lovely family to have. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Why did you come out to the farmer's market today? Was it because... Um, the graduate town? wanted to come, so we all came. Yeah, many so herbs and perennials for your garden. Yes. With a wide selection, please come down and check us out. Hi. We're Roger and Joan Grant from Grant's Plants in Danby, New York, and we welcome you to the Farmer's Market. farmers market and this is the boat landing where people come in from the marina and other parts of Cayuga Lake just to have fresh organic vegetables on the weekend. This is where the tribal reunion occurs in Ithaca on Saturdays and Sundays um, during the early afternoon hours in the morning. Um, you can come by and see different things. There's performers, there's people here just to play at the park, and they like the trees that dip into the canalways. This one is over 100 years old, and its branches go at least 20 feet out into the water. They even have roots into the dirt that's by the water. This is a peaceful place. Um, everybody who is here is happy to see each other. Necklaces and bracelets that we have down here. So come on down, we are here on Saturdays and Sundays, and you can come down and have some meat and shop for some jewelry for those you want to get good for. They're not actually priced as a set. Um, you do get a discount if you buy a set. However, they're all marked individually because some people will like to mix and match their woods. They'll layer maple, cherry, maple, cherry, maple, cherry. So you can do that. It gives the customer more freedom as to what they want. It changes the color of the that is pretty nice. See? Customer is boss. And speaking of, if you have any questions, good morning. Good morning. How are you two today? Peace sign on that flag. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? Oh yes, very much. What do you like about this place? Well, the fact that my granddaughter graduated is the big thing. <laughs> but it was a trip. We're from Massachusetts. So. Made out of olive oil, which I use on my hair, and we make a liquid soap. <laughs> I think you're just supposed to be nice. against the skin and I use plant dyes in an organic method, it's very, very ancient dyeing method to get all my colors. I am one of the partners in the Cricket Carrot. Uh, sauces, pickles, yep. Mm -hmm. 